All right, fans, as promised, coming to us live from Davis Arena. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you from OVW, it's cash flow. How's That's it going? Right. It's the money man, Edward. It's the money man. E's and B's podcast, cash flow is in the house. How's it going, my man? You getting ready for the rumble? Uh, I'm always getting ready. The rumble happens to come through, but this is an extra special rumble. This rumble will determine the OVW heavyweight champion. And let's be honest, I, I'm six foot four, I'm 330 pounds. What better heavyweight is there out there? Hey, that sounds good to me. I mean, uh, I'd be interested to see you with the belt around your waist. I can't wait. Tomorrow night, Davis Arena, right where you're standing, right? Right and, here where I'm standing, as hey, you can see. Cash flow, no better time than now. How about that, right? No better time than now. All right, man. Well, welcome to the E's and B's podcast. As we do here on the meat segment on the E's and B's, I run through a few questions, touch a little bit about your life, maybe your wrestling career, and also ask you some silly questions. Man, are you ready to get this thing started? Let's get it started, man. What do you got for me today? All right, Cash Flow. Starting right off here, my man. Tell my listeners out there just a little bit about yourself and how you got started in wrestling. Uh, well, there's not really a little bit to it. Ed, can I call you Ed? You can call me Ed, Eddie, Edward, whatever you want, brother. Well, let me, let me tell you something, Eddie, my, my journey, me and wrestling is, is not a short one and half hour, an hour, hour and a half would not do it any justice. Let's just say I've been doing this since the mid nineties, uh, back when wrestling was still kind of a, a uh, a closed door, you know, they were just in a transition. It was still kind of a closed door business and not anybody could get in. You had to tough your way in. I made it through that. I've been doing it ever since. Uh, you know, and I, I, I come in doing this just like any other guy out there that happens to be doing this. You know, you start off as, as, as a fan, you believed in what you saw and you went out and if you wanted to be one, you went out and you made your opportunities. So that's what I did. Nice, nice. And as we spoke before prior, you know, you're also doing a little bit of teaching as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. I, I teach the beginners wrestling class for the Al Snow Wrestling Academy. And I will I will plug this right here. If, if you know, one of the greatest minds in the business, if, if you're looking to get into this business, the best way to get into professional wrestling is to have a good foundation. And there is no better foundation than the Al Snow Wrestling Academy. He has academies all over in many, many different countries. And, you know, he's he's one of the best teachers out there. Anybody that's been around in wrestling can tell you that Al Snow is, is top notch and one of the best teachers out there. Absolutely. Here, us here at E's and B's, we support him 100%. Of course, out here in Colorado, he's got a camp out here. You know, in yeah. Utah, we push them guys too. But yeah, you, I agree 100% with you, Cashflow. The best camp around. And if you're gonna get started, you need to see either you guys out there on the East Coast or maybe come out here on the West Coast and see what's going on at Rocky Mountain Pro. Hey, keeping things rolling as we're staying on the wrestling kind of topic, Cash Flow, who's your favorite wrestler all time? Uh, you know, it really depends on eras. You know, when I first when I first started, you know, the believability was top notch. So when I first started, you know. Manny Fernandez, Wahoo McDaniel, Bruiser Brody, Stan Hansen, you know, those bruiser type, you know, guys that that really pulled me in and, and wanted to be wrestling. They they told the stories that, you know, there's no playing games in, in this. And, yes. you know, they were tough guys to the core. And and that's what really got me started. You know, as I as I as I growed a little bit, you know, got to be a, a bigger cash guy, you know, Flair, Blanchard, Arn. Um, you know, I wasn't, I was more of a Southern guy. I wasn't, you know, so much of a, of a Northern guy until, you know, of course, Northern's all there was. Right, uh, right. You know, but, you know, I still, you know, my daughter and my kids watch wrestling. So I still watch wrestling to this day. And of course, you know, I watch all types of wrestling. You know, I even go back to the, to the seventies and eighties and, and still watch some of that. So, you know, it just depends on what era it is. You know, I, I'm, I'm a big flair guy. I'm a big dusty guy. Who's not? You know, gotcha. right? Yeah, uh, absolutely. You know, the pioneers, like you said, the Wahoos and all those, you, you know, you can't go wrong with any of those selections. I agree. Uh, same way. I'm an 80s kid. I grew yeah. up on Macho Man. Uh, I grew now to love like the Jerichos and stuff like that. It, you know, it just changes in time. I get it. 
But you know, some people they get they get stuck on that one guy, and that's all they like. You talk about Macho Man, you know, he did his, you know, he probably did his best work, you know, in in the Fed up there. But you know, his his stuff before then, working for his dad, Angelo. Yes, yes. You know, that's some good stuff, and that really set the tone for what he was going to do the rest of his career. So yeah, I mean, it brought light right to him. You know, obviously working for his dad, but yeah, like you said, that's where you start. Kind of like what we're talking here with you at OVW. <laughs> you know you gotta start somewhere we're talking to cash flow here on the e's and b's podcast keeping things wrong let's switch gears for you cash flow check sure. this out me and you we're walking into into uh, barnes and nobles tomorrow we're gonna pick up the book about your life what's the name of it and why <laughs> i'm not so sure i could uh give you a name here on the air there <laughs> oh yeah come on now <laughs> hey uh, you know uh, a friend of mine once told me, he said, Cash, you know, you're you're fun to have around. You're a wrestler's wrestler. And and anybody that knows me, you know, I, I've spent a lot of time on on the road. And, you know, with what come what the road, what comes with the road is uh, a lot of a lot of stuff that you can talk and not necessarily everybody will believe you. Uh, you know, uh, what would the name of the book be? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Welcome to my shop, probably. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We'll, we'll keep it right there. Welcome to my shop. That's a good one. That's a good one. I think I throw a little curveball at you. All right, how about this one? You can go to breakfast with any wrestler or wrestling personality. Who would it be, and what are you guys having? Any, any wrestler, alive or dead? Yeah, yeah, live or dead. Um. Well, probably. I would probably go to breakfast. I'd probably go eat, eat breakfast with Dusty. Yeah, that's a good pick, man. You just know, to, and what just would to we pick have? his brain. Yeah. We would yeah, have yeah a, what would you have? What would you have? We would have a big old fat runny juicy steak with about with about six bowls of, of hot butter rolls over here on the side <laughs> with some mashed potatoes and runny gravy over here. You know. uh, all right, southern southern breakfast. I can agree with that myself, for <laughs> sure, for sure. Okay, baby. All right, as we're winding things down here, Cashflow, I've got a couple more left for you, and then I'll turn the table over to you. This is kind of a silly one. This is my one my daughter loves. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Uh, I'm a strength guy. You know, I've I'm actually, in, in all honesty, a lot of people don't know this about me, but I am a comic book type of guy I grew up on comic books I collect comic books you know I haven't collected in quite a while but I still have a large large collection and I'm an incredible Hulk guy okay. you know I always have been hence the green you know I'm a gym rat so you know I the stronger I am the better I am and it, it would have to be it would be super strength you can do all you can do anything with strength okay. anything at all anything okay. at all that sounds like a good one. I, I do agree. I mean, like you said, you can't go wrong with strength. No. So it's simple, right. but I can, I, I can make it work. Exactly. Simple sometimes is better, right? Absolutely. All right, my man. The last thing I got for you, and then I'll turn, the, turn it over to you. What's on your top three podcast li cast list right now that you're listening to in 2021? Um, well, I've listened to various, you know, Pritchard, you know, Cornette, um, you know, my buddy's got a podcast. It's a ringside podcast, but, you know, I'm going to throw wrestling podcasts out there. Uh, my favorite podcast to listen to just because I'm a, I'm a horror fan as well is the no sleep podcast. Oh, okay. There's a good one. Never, if you've never listened to it. You know, they, they tell it's, it's more of a, a audio movie type of podcast. They tell spooky, creepy stories and it, it hooks you, it hooks me in every time. Like I said, I'm a horror fan. We, uh, we are too. We're murder mystery fans. We got the, uh, the game they send to you every month and, you know, we're learning about a killer right now as we speak. So my wife will probably be checking that out. I'm sure the no sleep podcast and it, it is and there's i think 14 15 seasons oh wow so it, wow. there's a lot of content on there and there's some stuff on there to you know give you the willies so well that's cool uh, well, hopefully going that's, forward that's, that's probably my number one eddie i don't uh like i said man there is only so many hours in the day if i had 28 hours in the day i'd probably be okay i hear you on that i hear you on that 
Well, hopefully going on forward in the future, you can maybe add the E's and B's to that list. Maybe don't have to be your top one, but maybe in the future we'll add it to you. Well, man, it's been an honor and a pleasure. But before I let you go, Cash Flow, I want to turn the floor over to you. I want to know, is there anything you got to ask old Eddie B? And also go ahead and promote anything you got to tell my fans out there that's going on maybe this weekend or in the future. Eddie, I really, I appreciate you having me on. I appreciate your fans listening. Hey, it's been, it's been a pleasure. You know, sorry it took this long. You know, we had some, some things going on, but uh, right. you know, I appreciate you having me on and I appreciate the fans listening. You know, as far as promotion goes, you know, need I say more? January 9th, this Saturday. It's Saturday night, January 9th, the OVW Nightmare Rumble. Huge implications. The winner gets the OVW Heavyweight Championship and a shot at Mr. Pectacular Jesse Goddard. And as a message to you, Jesse Goddard, you better keep your eye out because not only am I in the Nightmare Rumble, but the rest of my brethren in the legacy of brutality is, and we will accept nothing less in 2021 than all the gold. That includes your national championship, Mr. Pectacular. If you need any good cash merch, if you need any good LOB merch, uh, you can go to my website, chopshopwrestling.com. Uh, you can find me on all the social medias, uh, Facebook at I am Cash Flow, Twitter at Cash is Chop Shop, Instagram at Cash KY. You can find me on YouTube. I have my own YouTube channel, but you can also get through that through my website, Chop Shop Wrestling. I've got everything on there. You know, if any of your listeners want to just check me out, I've got wrestling matches for me going back to the mid 90s. Actually, there's a wrestling match on there, I think, with me and CM Punk, me and Chris Hero, Coke Cabana. You know, you can find all that stuff on there. So give it a look. Don't forget to like and subscribe, all that stuff too now. Awesome. Awesome, Cashwell. Like I said, honor and a pleasure. Everybody out there, make sure you check him out. We'll be pulling for you tomorrow night, my man. Hey, Once again. Spoiler here, Eddie. You're looking at the new OVW champion. Spoiler. I can't, I can't wait. I hope so. And if so, we'll talk very soon, my man. Well, everybody, that's Cash Flow from OVW.